Hi everyone, in this ninth episode, I will share my workflow for WANbot.o all-in-one or AIO that I also use to create video sequences of clips and stitch them together in a video editing software. The workflow and the model can handle both text to video and image to video very well. The quality, however, really depends on how you set things up, especially the input image. Okay, let's get started. We start at our first frame image load section. Then this purple section, you just upload the initial image as you would normally do with AY workflow. Here, if you prefer to control the video even further, you can upload a last frame image as well. This is optional. I prefer to have the model to be more creative and generate me one. This red node here is where our generated last frame of the video will be saved. When you generate your next clip, remember to match this image with the start frame image. In order to use a last frame image output from the generated video, bypass the end frame node. Next, here we load our model. This model is huge, 23 gigabytes in size. However, I am using my 5060 Ti with 10 gigabytes of VRAM to show that this is very possible and does not take much time for each video to generate. I am using the multi-GPU nodes here because I can split and assign each task, inference, text encoding, and VAE decoding to different devices. For now, I will set it to device 0, which is my 17 gigabytes GPU. As always, we enter our prompt here. It is recommended that the negative prompt is left empty as our CFG is set to 1. The next section, these yellow nodes here, are for our video configuration and general settings. I have disabled Sage Attention for this workflow, as I am not sure why it does not work with my settings in this workflow but I have tested and it pretty much does not make much difference for me. You can try to enable it to see if it works for you. The number of frames is set to 49, which is 15 FPS times 3 plus 1. I want to demonstrate how I create a video with multiple video clips, so I will set only 3 seconds per clip. Here we enter our video size and some other settings, especially the strength. You need to set the strength to 1 if it is an image to video generations, otherwise use 0 for text to image operations. Remember, to generate image to video clips, enable the purple nodes and don't forget about the end frame. Not disabling it will generate a blank or black last frame image, but you can delete the frame in your video editing software in case you forget. The default setting for this AIO model is shown here, 1 for CFG and 4 for steps. Sampler and scheduler is set as shown. Okay, let's run this workflow using the 15GB VRAM GPU. Pick the start frame image first, then enter the prompt. Many times, ChatGPT helps for prompt enhancements, but well, not always. Experimenting is fun. I will use a simple prompt, then run the workflow.
It takes about 14 seconds to encode the image. first iteration took me about 34 seconds, as you can see. And sampling is done in 134 seconds. The decoding took about 21 seconds, and the whole workflow took me about 171 seconds, a little less than 3 minutes. This is our first 3 second clip. Now let's run our second clip. We need to pick the same image as the save last frame node. We can actually automate this step but we'll add some more tasks and steps, so I will keep it manual for now. Let's change the next prompt a bit.
The sampling step took me 130 thus seconds, which is pretty much the same as the previous clip. Generation time for the second clip is 160 seconds. So yeah, Quaddle model can be downloaded using the link provided in the workflow and in the description. Okay, I hope this is at least useful for you to experiment with. I have many other workflows for multiple clip with consistency coming up, both basic and enhanced ones. Please stay tuned.